Hey guys, this is Step Up. So I had another dream last night and the Lord revealed something to me. And I think it's important to share because this is why he's bringing his judgment. So he revealed to me why he's bringing his judgment on the world. Um, and again, we know that the Bible says that it's because of um, the state of society as a whole, the world has fallen into, a, you know, a, a likeness to the days of Noah and Lot. We know what was going on then, but the Lord confirmed it in a dream and he specifically pointed something out that is... Um, basically sealed the deal um and so you know the day of atonement was yesterday i was seeking him on that day in prayer and fasting and um so last night he gave me a dream about the, his judgment um and so it seems his judgment is sealed about this um, for this cause and so in my dream I seen people trying to rob a household and um, they were so determined on stealing things from this household that um, they didn't even realize that a child was there and they ended up um, killing the child by accident in the process of stealing from this household and as you know as cruel and morbid and 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 awful as this dream was um, trust me even it was even hard for me to see you know, as a, as a mother, um, you know, the Lord wanted me to share this with you, that this is what has sealed his judgment on the world. And um, the first time that he sent the flood to destroy the earth, he did that because of something in particular. And um, the word... It stated in study that it was because of Hamas, which is a Hebrew word. Um, and it means lawlessness and violent hatred in the Bible. And um, in the Hebrew dictionary, it also means literally to rob, to oppress, uh, to rob with violence, robbery, theft, and evil doing. So this is what I see. And then I realized that, after waking up from this, I realized that the Lord is, um, is revealing that the theft is what is causing most of, uh, most injustice in the world. People stealing from other people is what is causing the most injustice to the world, either, um, incidentally or intentionally. Um, and so it's, it's creating a lot of death and a lot of chaos. Um, and this is the state of our society. We know that there's a lot of theft going on right now. It's rampant and it, from the smallest thing to the largest thing, um, and the Bible also states in 1 Timothy 6.10 that the love of money is the root of all evil. So we are warned against this. Um, remember where you store your treasures, that's where your heart will be also. And we are supposed to be heavenly bound, uh, walking after the spirit and not after the flesh. And then if we do that, God promises in his word that he will provide for all of our needs. He will find a way, um, you know to bring these things into our lives and I'm a testimony of that so I just want to say that 
this is what the Father has revealed to me. This is the judgment that has been sealed. And this is the cause that it has been sealed for. Um, and um, on the Day of Atonement, this has been deliberated. And so now we have yet to see the punishment for this um, this crime that the world has committed. Um, and, um, and so the Lord wanted me to share this with you um, in case any of you feel the need to repent of a small deed of theft. And I want to encourage you to do that right now if you have that on your heart. And the spirit is convicting you because this is this is something serious to the Lord. Okay, this is very serious. And remember, he wants you to put your trust in him that he, that he can provide a way if you resist temptation. Remember, there's always a way out of temptation. He never he never allows us to be tempted unless there is a way out of it. And so the way is to lean on the Lord and to pray to him for that strength of deliverance. Okay, and provision, and you put him first, you put your trust in him, eventually he will bring what you need. Okay, it might not be the way that you think it's going to come about, so be open, but again, the Lord will provide. Okay, and so I want to encourage you all, because I know what it's like to be in difficult circumstances, um, but this is, this is the faith that the Lord is looking for, and this is the place that we're at right now. Um, you know, this is the faith he wants to see uh, when he comes for his elect, you know. Um, so that's what the Bible warns. You know, will he find faith on the earth when he comes, when the Son of Man comes? So this, this is what the Lord has revealed. Um, and this is the judgment. The judgment is coming. So... The judgment is sealed on the day of Yom Kippur, okay, the day of atonement. And then the judgment, I read that the judgment is also delivered at the timing of the Feast of Tabernacles. It's the, the judgment begins at that time. Um, so we will see what the Lord brings. Again, anything is possible with God and... You know, it's according to the will of the Father, so we will see how he chooses to complete these things and to deliver these things and to deliver us in his timing. Again, it's uh, let it be according to um, the Father's will. And so with that, guys, I just want to encourage you to keep watch and... Um, if you want, you pray on these things for your own confirmations. I did not expect to receive this um, revelation of judgment. And we know that the, that God promised us that he would not destroy the earth by a flood again, as in the days of Noah. He sent the rainbow to promise that. And we see that till this day. But... What the Lord is going to do is he's promised now to instead judge the earth by fire. Okay. So there will be destructive fire coming. Um, and that will be by the sun, the meteorites, you know, the earth, right, etc. Like lava, etc. And other various smaller judgments with that. And what we see also in the book of Revelations through the trumpet judgments and the bull judgments. So this is coming. Uh, the Lord has shown me now that this has been sealed and this, this is the reason why. And this is what he wants to see um, his children and mankind repent of. This is the deed, the, the love of money. The love of money and thievery um, and great violence associated and so this this is very important right now brothers and sisters so 
right now I want to encourage you also to pray to escape all these things that are about to come on the face of the earth and pray to be found worthy to stand before the the lamb okay and let God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven let us pray and call out with one loud voice Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen. <laughs>